Now, of course, folks are aware, um, it's gotten a little hairy in LA the last couple of years. Uh, homelessness is on the rise, a lot of people going through tough times. Um, and, and I respect supporting the homeless and uh, supporting No Kid Hungry and all that, but uh, those less fortunate. One thing that I cannot ever be down with is the stealing of a bicycle. Uh, and that's what happened to my good friend, Mike here. Um, Mike Dimkish, if you don't know, is he plays guitar for Bad Religion. Uh, he's kind of a big deal. Um, your bicycle was stolen and what we're going to do, we recovered the bicycle and we thought we would tell the story of how that happened via stickers uh, from my partners at Jukebox. So the one thing that I can tell you they did, they did paint it. So we're going to redecorate it uh, with stickers. We're going to bring the joy back to it. Um, and, and each sticker will represent something that took place uh, in, the, in the bicycle recovery adventure. The caper. Is yes, that caper, to? perfect. Caper. Perfect, uh, perfect now. Not the caper, the little... No, not the thing that Which goes is... in Italian food. What's that made of? It's like a pepper I think a caper, a caper. I don't know. All right, so here's, uh, here's the box of stickers that arrived from Jukebox. Um, and we're going to go through each one. I love, I always love the boxes. It's nice and colorful. All right, so let's get the bike up on the stand here. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's not going to work. They did some things to this bike that are interesting. Some battlefield modifications. You think that's going to stay? I think, that, yeah, that'll work. Right, we got it. We got it. Okay, don't breathe on it. There's enough black spray paint probably on the seat. It's like friction tape. Keep it, yeah. So each sticker is, is symbolic. Uh, you'll, you'll see how we go. Um, the first one is, uh, is Frampton Comes Alive. Now, can you explain that? Yeah, let me, let me. There we go. That's so good. He the, hasn't seen any of the stickers yet. No. The, we, we came up with the idea. The flowing locks. The mm -hmm. just, it's an iconic photo. So long story short, this was a, probably the biggest selling live album up till its time. He was huge, he was ubiquitous, but his famous Black Les Paul Gibson guitar that he played on that was lost in a plane crash in the Amazon. And the guitar was f salvaged, i.e. someone stole it from the wreckage. So the guitar through the internet, he, he was made aware of it maybe 10 years ago or so. He got the guitar back, but when he had Gibson refurbish it to its playability, he was like, I wanted to have all the battle scars that tell the story. Because he already thought it was lost, he'd never see it again. And I vowed, if I get this bike back, when I got a whiff that I might, that it would become the Frampton Comes Alive bike. All right, now you can start with how the bike was, uh, was stolen. Yes, I, uh, after a, a nice ride, a good, a good sesh. Good sesh, as we call it. To use the yeah. parlance mm -hmm. here. Uh, I like to stop at one of my favorite places locally, which is Paquito Moss. And I'll go in there. And the real tragedy is I was buying food for myself and my son to take to him. Son, so it's, it's a sacred thing. Like, really? Yeah. And I went inside, as I always do, and I leaned the bike up outside and ordered the food. The guy in front of me took a while. He was being a little difficult with the people. He's paying by check? Uh, yeah, he was. He, he, I think he was trying to use, like, Confederate money. It was things, <laughs> things were weird. I walked out, and I usually would do this trick real clever, you put your helmet between, you know, like the frame and the wheel, so no one could just run off with it, or ride off with it. And I walked out and literally my helmet was like spinning on the ground. So the scene of the crime, Paquito Moss, uh, sticker number one. Uh, I see we're right here? Yeah, all right. All right. There's gonna be a lot of stickers, so this will, there we go. Right. And no blame to be yeah. laid upon yeah, no, the feet Paquito of Paquito Moss. Moss. Not, not their fault here. Their manager was really bummed and he asked me a couple weeks later, like, I'm so sorry about your bike, what happened? I said, I got it back. All right, so now we have the thief sticker. Um, I guess he's gonna go after Paquito Moss. Uh, we're gonna interrupt this with a, with a little gift break, which is the auto lock is a, is a little bike lock. It's meant for this purpose. You can, uh, they've got a seat post mount. You can stick it in your pocket, you stick it in your front bag, whatever. Um, this is for, you know, you don't leave it overnight with this thing, but this is the bike where you're going for coffee, you're going to take a crap and a little peace of mind so someone can't just run off. It's, you know, if someone wants to steal your bike, whatever your lock is, they're gonna get it. But if an opportunistic criminal comes across yes. it, this is the one that, that would prevent that. Yeah. Um, so, Merry Christmas from Auto Lock. All right, next up, uh, this is kind of theoretical. We're not sure where the bike was. We drove around town for a little bit, but you called me and we, and we buzzed around trying to see if we could find whoever stole the bike. No luck that night. Um, we, we think it ended up under the 101. Next to the 101, based on, I won't mention the platform or the app, but there was a, there's a thing where I was told by a friend who has had many bikes stolen, check this app. 
Right. And it was on that app. And it was pretty obvious that the bike seller was near the 101. There's a lot of bridges and underpasses where, uh, where unsavory things, you know, that's where I would go. Yes. If I wanted something unsavory, would do something unsavory. Now, uh, now we have to, for the next one, we have to remove the top two bag. The top two bag does have a little bit of a story uh, in it. Is it okay to touch this? I've touched it already, and I'm okay. and that was a couple of weeks ago. So we've so got your multi tool was still in there. There we go. All right, your pump is still I, there. I missed this as well. Um, I, I have a question about this. What what is this? I mean, it. This is new. This you don't know about. This was not part of my normal tools. kind of how I roll. Mm. I I mean, I thought it looked like a meth. I just don't know. Is or, it a, a crack pipe, a meth pipe, or a key? I'm trying to say I don't know how one smokes meth. Um, I don't see a hole in this end, but I. I could be missing. I just it, leave a comment if you know what one smokes with that. Because it and looks if not what you do with it. The internet will tell us. You can trust you. I know half my YouTube body smokes meth. I know you guys know this stuff. But it does have the, the, the shape of in the day of like a one hitter. It appears weed to be pipe. a pipe. Yeah. But we did some detective work. That's the next sticker. Is the detective Clouseau mm -hmm. from the intro of the Pink Panther movies. <laughs> so. Uh, so that was, you know, messaging the people, trying to figure out where it is, who had it. I, I believe Emily sent a message. You sent a message. Um, My friend in Portland. We yeah. did a three-pronged attack. The the initial thought, the initial instinct, uh, as would be for anyone, was, okay, let's tell them we're going to buy it, and then five guys show up and set up a sting, and then and then we kind of thought better of, well, let's look at us. Um, why don't we do another move where we say, hey, look, I know this is stolen. Um, I know... You know, we can tell from the photo uh, where where you took this photo. We can probably tell where you live. We we gotta call the cops, or if you just save us that trouble, uh, we'll give you a hundred bucks to get the bike back. That was basically how this went. Right? Yeah. This was the detective. The detective, you know, he went the lazy route. Um, all right. So next, uh, a lot of phone calls, a lot of phone calls, and a lot of texting with uh, with with said criminals. They were, um, they were not terribly communicative or good right. at making a plan. Right. This was sort of where, where I entered. Um, you called me and you'd had a couple run-ins that day where they were, they'd arranged a meeting and then it yes. fizzled. Yes. Right. Um, and then, and then you, you texted or called me around like 7.38 in the evening. Yeah. Like and, seven, seven or seven. Yeah. And, and you were like, all right, one last chance at this. Um, I'm at I'm at uh, Paoli's. Is Love a, it. Is Local a place. Italian place. Yeah. It's awesome. That's a good karaoke joint. He's at Paoli's. What I knew that meant was okay. If Mike's at Paoli's, he's probably had one or two. Um, so I I should I should be there to help. I should be there to drive, uh, and I should contribute. So I I buzzed over to Paoli's. Got the, the drinks. You had you had said a beer and a mezcal. Is I, had, that right? I had a couple of mezcal, but I, it was okay. it was very much an, it was a very nice feeling at the time because I was done. I had done everything. Yeah, I you were done. over it with the bike. yeah. I wasn't I wasn't mm -hmm. angry. I wasn't. I was just like, hey, and the guy texted, hey, do you still want your bike? And I was kind of like, ah, you know, if you want to bring it here. Yeah. But Phil said, no, let's <laughs> let's go meet them. I said one last try, place. and yeah. then we'll give up and never talk about this again. So my involvement, of course, will be signified, uh, symbolized by the cookie sticker, which I didn't have to ask you bucks for because they already sent me like a couple thousand cookie stickers. So we want this to go right here? Totally. That's like the Lone Ranger sticker for this story, like <laughs> the masked man, the cookie eye, the hero. Yes. Well, well, not well. Yeah, the whole. Now the Cookie Man. Uh, you know, when I'm going on a caper, when I'm about to go on an adventure, we're about to meet some unsavory characters. Uh, I, I'm not going to go unarmed. You know, I'm not an idiot. So, but I also I'm not a gun person. Uh, so I I brought a can of bear spray. This is my home defense bear spray. Um, so got it right here. This is the this is the safety. I'm not going to don't point that this. <laughs> We're gonna cover that one. Anyway, so I had the I had the bear spray just in case, um, and and the whole drive over there we're cracking up at the bear spray idea. Um, so we need a sticker for the bear spray. Also, I, we got two stickers. Which which sticker do you prefer? We've got the the fat bear with the X on it and the skinny bear. Uh, from well, a size perspective, the fat bear kind of makes more sense because he's taking up less vertical. I would say though the angrier bear would be the skinny one who's come out of out of hibernation. <laughs> Who might be more likely to to do something? <laughs> okay, no, that's 
That's okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a. No, that's know. just far more thought than I thought we put into that. I but watched. I watched Anchorman last night. Answer. Okay. And they had the uh, the Kodiak bears. Oh yeah. So and they were in hibernation and extremely sure. angry. So. Okay. Yeah. So here's the here's the, here's, this, here's the grumpy skinny bear. It's gonna go right under a sticker. Yeah. He's, there's a screw there. We gotta do it this way. Or it could go sideways. Yeah, it goes sideways. Okay. The bear's hibernating, doesn't it? Yeah. He's he's half asleep. All right. There's your bear. All right. No. This thing's looking good. I get that. Here's the meeting point. The place that they asked to meet, uh, they wanted to meet at REI. So that's so we got REI sticker. Big fan, love REI. I'm mm -hmm. a member. I, in fact, I have a dividend coming up. I'm yeah. gonna buy some shoes. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm more decathlon man. It's the same stuff. It's oh, much cheaper. Yeah, I get it. That's okay. I don't have to. You didn't, you didn't breach a sponsorship. I would breach a sponsorship. Had there been a decathlon parking lot that was as well lit up as this REI parking lot, <laughs> and I had gone there, and we would have charged them fifty dollars less for the bike. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Prices are more reasonable at decathlon, including in shady things in the parking lot. All right. So here's the REI. So now God. the the fee. Uh, the fee for the bike that we the price agreed upon uh, as I said it was a hundred dollars yes so uh, so here's here's Ben Franklin although it was 20s that we that we paid them in I mean to me that was that was kind of the price point where I would not be upset I wouldn't right I was like it's a hundred bucks hey, the that's bike... the price to pay for whatever they did to your bike which we will get to because they did some interesting things to this yeah that's... Uh, so next we have uh, we have just victory triumph so we chose the the triumph motorcycle sticker yes uh, and that's just to you know we we were elated on the way home with with bike and him. We really neither of us really thought it was going to work out. We were no. standing around for half an hour. I've the dude who ready. showed up, you know, not not a you know teardrop tattoo, uh, some weird hair. He had a girl like they, they they were the kind of people you'd imagine would steal a bike on Ventura Boulevard in the evening. They were not a way. cycling enthusiast. No, or an they, avid cyclist. Correct. They were neither neither of those things. Gun to our head, what they probably did with that with that Benjamin Franklin. Um, was was by drugs. So this is the the chemical compound for for methamphetamine. Yeah, which um, we had to look up. I didn't know that offhand. It could have been fentanyl, but oh yeah, yeah, we were trying to figure that out. Based upon the uh, misses sent, yeah, I'm gonna go with this chemical compound. There were a lot of hostile text messages. Uh, so the next the next section here is what did they do to the bike while it was gone? Um, one, as you saw, they have disabled the, the seat clamp, but not only did they, did they loosen it, they, they stripped the bolt so the seat cannot be tightened. None of it made sense to me. I was like, why would you do this? And a friend of mine who had a bike stolen said, well, because if you're parking the bike somewhere and you don't want people to ride away with it, you make it so the seat post, that. it just keeps slamming down. The other thing they did was they, uh, they disabled the stem, the headset is pulled out, and the stem was, was stripped. That which, was the which point. Is so pretty, they, they removed makes, the, the two contact points they eliminated so that the bike, once you've stolen the bike, uh, now it can't be stolen is their thought process. Yes. They didn't have auto locks either. No one, not enough people no. know about the auto lock. Maybe device. we should have given them an auto lock. <laughs> it's true. Um, the other thing, the th this was the part that blew my mind. It blew my mind what they did here. Um, and this is, when, when, I, when I brought it, when we brought it home, I was like, oh, they have your, your bar tape. Uh, is, is still, and I, I just didn't notice that he had the bar tape kind of Roubaix style. I saw this though in the photo on right. said sale app, and I was like, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, you thought they painted it. So yeah. they added bar tape. They added bar tape, and not only did they add bar tape, it's it's lizard skins. They matched the bar tape that you had on there. Kind they got of. a new, well, no, not with color, but it's the same brand. They, it's the same. Uh, lizard skin bar tape, but again, by the way, for sponsor's sake, uh, I'm a Silka man. Uh, they, they don't have, obviously they have no taste. And the other part, uh, remember what you said when you saw this tape job? Oh, and I'm, gonna, I'm just, you let me go on this one. I mean, the wrapping on this side's reasonable. I'm really this interested in the fact that were they going to go do a gravel race and they needed more padding in their hand? I, I don't, I just, <laughs> anyone that would do this with blue electrical tape on the outside. Right. There's one, two, three, four, five wraps here, one and a quarter. I, I, I had forgotten about this. I exclaimed to Phil, <laughs> what kind of barbarians would do this? We, we got back and I was just like, they, look what they, oh look, they added the bar tape and you just pointed at this part, you just pointed at this end and you said, savages. <laughs> They're called savages or barbarians. You said savages. savages. Oh, oh, even, even worse. We were, I was crying. Um, so overall, the the bike, it's it, you know, it's spray painted. It's it's. I mean, it's ruined to the point where it has no value. You can't sell it. No. Um, but uh, but it is it is rideable. Kind of once you fix 
You're just going to kind of make this into a town bike or something. Yeah, and I, um, I get to clip in to see actually if spray paint affects. Pedals. Right. I don't. I don't. It, once you spray paint, you know, I use a, a high end wax lubricant on my chain. I don't think spray paint would really. You're you're losing watts. Put it that way. That's the, okay. the 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 resistance and uh, all, all of that. It's not good. The pedals do um, come out though. I, I check. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can you can bring this bike back. So the final sticker that we have here is the the classic uh, name sticker with uh, Quixote on it. Uh, you mind explaining that? I mean, I've been described by a few people as being very quixotic in things that I, you know, tilt tilt at windmills about. Mm -hmm. And this was one because I was like, there's no way I'm getting this bike back. You were obsessed with this bike for the the, the four days. Was it how many days was it? It was gone about a week, and I posted on a local media app, which actually is what helped me find the bike. And I said, I know this is a quixotic adventure. All right, so that, that is the story of the, of the lost and recovered bike. Uh, it's a happy ending. Um, you're you're going to have this bike rideable again-ish. Uh, yeah. Frampton has come back alive, Mr. Don Quixote. Twice. How, how, do we, um, how do we end this? I mean, I would say don't take drugs, kids. Don't take drugs. Yeah, so do drugs. All right, good time. Put back in the top two bag. Uh, I got you some sage. Feel like that's appropriate. Uh, agreed. <laughs> Definitely. We'll just give it to you. We'll stick her in there.